Only in Fox, it is one of the oldest cities in Arizona. A century ago, Bisbee, Arizona was booming. It was a mining town where gold and silver and copper flowed from the mines and the cash poured into the posh hotels and the shady saloons. Well, Bisbee is right here, tucked in the southeast corner of the state. We'll zoom you in here. You can get a look if you've never been there, the Copper Queen Mine. There's so much history in Bisbee, and it's such a quaint, really cool place. And again, of course, all of that filled with copper. But far from being a ghost town, Bisbee has made a comeback thanks to tourism. Many visitors taking in the town's mining past, or they check into a landmark hotel where the guests don't always check out. Tonight, Andrew Hasman and photojournalist Joe Tillman take us there. Bisbee, Arizona, a survivor of a town, once the largest city between San Francisco and St. Louis, now a popular tourist spot thanks to its Old West charm and what many believe the Old West left behind. Bisbee's history is mining. You can credit its explosive growth around the turn of the century to the Copper Queen mine. This mine produced 8 billion pounds of copper. So when you strike it, you turn it every time. Two former miners showed us how the job was done in the early days and in the machine age. This was never easy or very comfortable work, even at break time. They were all two-seaters, you know. I worked eight years underground. I don't know about Donnie, but I never saw two miners on it at the same time, <laughs> just to let you know that. <laughs> They weren't the best smelling things underground. But when you had to use them, this is where you went to the bathroom right here. Exactly. Thanks to nearly 100 years of mining, more than 2,000 miles of tunnels snake their way through the mountains around Bisbee. Should anything go wrong, the miners would have to evacuate through this tunnel. It's 1,500 feet to the surface. In addition to the copper, the mine produced 77 million ounces of silver and nearly 3 million ounces of gold. The mine was the main source of income here in Bisbee, so it was very important. The mine closed in 1975 and Bisbee moved on, continuing to embrace its history. A history that some believe has a dark side that still lingers in this picturesque town. This is the Copper Queen Hotel. There are 16 entities which are believed to reside here. continuously operating hotel in Arizona and the crown jewel of Bisbee. The Copper Queen still has its turn of the century charm. It was built for rich mining executives. Today, it hosts mostly tourists, many of them hunting ghosts. Three ghosts appear to be the most active. The smoking man walks the halls of the fourth floor. Guests have claimed to smell cigar smoke. For the living, smoking is not allowed. Then there's Julia Lowell, a prostitute who fell in love with one of her clients and was rejected. And Julia's overreaction to this was killing herself. They believe she hung herself up on the third floor outside of her room. Guests in her room have reported strange encounters. They claim that she will get into bed with them, that, they, that Julia will take the covers off their feet and tickle their toes, do a seductive dance at the edge of their beds. Billy was a little boy who drowned in a nearby river. His mom is believed to have worked at the hotel. Billy's a trickster. He's a prankster. He'll play little practical jokes on people. A family eating at the hotel's dining room reported a strange encounter. Their little girl kept climbing underneath the table. And she'd come back up, and then she'd climb back underneath the table. And they finally asked her, what are you doing? And she said, I'm playing with Billy. <laughs> Guests are encouraged to write about their experiences in a book kept at the hotel's front desk. On August 8th, one group of guests who stayed in Julia's room wrote, they experienced floral smells and loud sounds, a squeezed arm, dizzy spells, and dropping temperatures. Another guest wrote on October 11th, we had two incidences in room 412, Billy's room. First was the door locked on its own, the second happened to their grandson. He became sick during the night. It's not just the Copper Queen, other spots in Bisbee have a dark side too. We are inside the Oliver House, believed to be one of the most haunted places in the state of Arizona. 
It's an old boarding house, and locals say decades ago, a sheriff's deputy staying at the home caught his wife cheating. He shot his wife, shot her lover, came down here to the parlor, shot everyone he could, and then left town and shot himself. Spotting one of Bisbee's ghosts has become sport. At the Copper Queen, groups gather on the hotel's fourth floor, armed with ghost hunting equipment. They hope to catch a glimpse. It's going to, I think it picks up electricity or yeah, like energy, like energy. and they'll set off and start to ring a little bit. We found a group from Phoenix staying and hunting in Billy's room. We also put out some candy. We thought that he might like some candy. I am so hoping to see something move off my bed because this is my bed. Because <laughs> I don't know, I'll be sleeping with them if, if that happens. <laughs> Because if he's in my bed, I don't know. Renee Gardner leads the ghost hunts. She doesn't detail all the spirits that many claim haunt the halls of the Copper Queen. She wants hunters to figure that out on their own. Some people check out over the years because of the ghosts. I know on our ghost hunt, a few times we've had people have to sleep in the lobby. They've checked out of their rooms completely, sleep in their van. But clearly, many believe some guests never checked out. In Bisbee, Andrew Hasbro, Fox 10 News.